Okay, hi YouTubers, this is the Cheese 30. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit more of a, well, an in depth um, sort of review on the uh, Colt 45 BB gun. Um, I'm currently living in Denmark at the moment. <coughs> so, uh, some of the gun laws and everything over here are a little bit less strict as uh, the UK, where I come from. Um, I picked up this uh, BB gun um, for about £28 or something. £25. Um, <coughs> right, so let's have a look. I picked it up inside its... Well, I, I bought the uh, the hips, the hipster holster um, for about, I don't know, £7 or something for the place. As you can see, it can uh, hold the magazine in the front of it. Uh, and the gun. And there's a little pocket here if you wanted to put your pallet pallets or something in there. Another magazine maybe. Not sure. Right. Open up this bit. Oh yeah, by the way, uh just uh, just to make sure, this is my first video using uh, the H D plus um on the Vardo third generation um camcorder, pocket cam. Um so I hope that this is gonna work. Come out okay. Right. <coughs> so we've got the magazine. It takes twelve um pellets, BBs. Um <coughs> show you the BBs. Like these. Okay. Now when loading the gun, you always make sure that this is like a spring on a spring with a little catch thing there. And when you're loading it, you pull it all the way back to there, and then you push it to the left, which puts it in that little groove here. Okay, and then you can push down on this. If you've got it full like this, and it's not in the groove, do not push this, which I've done many times. I've just knocked it or whatever, and all the BBs just go flying all over the place. So that's just one little tip. I just thought I'll tell you. Right, this um, actual style of gun is the heavy. It's called the heavy style. Um, I think you can get the Colt 45, which is a lot lighter. But uh, the magazine is actually made of metal. Um, the 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 spring obviously is metal, and then you've got these the little pin here, which is plastic, and this little um, hinge thing here, little button, and that's also plastic. But the rest of it is complete metal, and it weighs well, it weighs quite a bit. Okay, let's put that down there. Right, let's get to the actual initial gun. Right, this is it. This is a uh, Colt 45. It says on the side of the gun <coughs> that it is a national match and then Colt and then automatic caliber 45. And then the little horse on the back. Okay, um. <coughs> This casing is plastic, all this along here is plastic, 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 plastic. Right, this thing on the back here, the sight, that's metal. As she has a screw there, you can uh, adjust with your finger to enable it to go up or down. Um, this back um, safety catch, that's metal. The hammer is actually plastic. Um, the safety. All this safety switch does metal. The trigger is metal, but the actual casing here, all the way down around here, plastic, plastic. Now on the back here, <coughs> sorry, on the on the bottom, this is actually metal. This piece on the back, which you your hand grips to. In fact, they've made some features. The people that made this, so you can actually take things off the gun. I mean, that weighs about fifty to a fifty seventy five hundred grams, something like that. Um, to take off. It's, it, I think it's all this for packing on the gun. I found a lots of it while I actually uh, took the gun apart and and had a look inside it just to see how it actually went to uh, together. And it was roughly like the original 1911 um, uh, Colt um, Colt 45 and the army issued one. So I mean it's been styled nearly exactly like it. Um, this is a little bit like, um, just like shiny metal that's inside that's 
been glued to this case. It says on the other side here, um, Energy 10J Max, and it says it's a 6 6 S6 Cal, it's 6 mm BB, and it's got Made in Taiwan just underneath that, just down there. <coughs> um, so it's not a bad little, uh, little gun. The reason why I bought it was to scare some birds away. To be honest with you, um, some people above me keep throwing bread and stuff out the windows, and, and every time I open the window, I hear all these seagulls outside, and I think, "What the hell's going on?" So I bought this just to sort of scare them away, because uh, otherwise they uh, make a massive mess all over my windows and everybody else's windows. But um. Yeah. Inside here, it's got some plates, um, some plates of like lead or something metal, um, in both sides of here. So it is really, really heavy. It actually feels like a real gun. I've, I mean, I've given it to people, and they've gone, you know, they've taken the gun and gone crikey, you know, with with the magazine in there as well. Um, so that obviously just slams in there like that. I always keep the safety on every single time I use uh, anything, whether it be a pellet gun. Or an air, an airsoft gun, or, or um, BBs, or whatever I'm firing, always the safety stays on. Always the safety stays on. Um, it works exactly like Colt 45. You cannot, you cannot um, fire it unless the safety is down, and this is held in. So you can all do that at once to fire it. Um, I've got another thing on here as well. Let me, uh, let me load it. Just pull that back. I'll just put this in the place. Now it doesn't. Um, <coughs> oh, yeah, it has a, uh, a metal barrel to it that goes all the way through with uh, the springs, the original springs here. Anyway, when it's when it's loaded, which is that, and the safety is on, I found that with this gun, it can be a bit of a deceiver. If you push the trigger. If you know, if you watch the ha the hammer, and push the trigger. You see the hammer moves up a little bit this way. Now that means if I take the safety off, watch what happens. Right, I'm not touching the trigger whatsoever. <coughs> I've got a little there. Uh, I've got a little pellet trap that I made. Move room so I can test this out. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna literally push the safety switch down. Right, no, no trigger. Right. It's in my trigger, all my fingers, all my fingers. There you heard that. <laughs> so, what I've learned with this is that you can, uh, if you do load it, this is what I'm going to do again. Run it up like that. And then safety on, and you do push the switch, and the hammer does that. <coughs> just push the hammer back down. So before you fire it, just to check if someone's been messing about with it, push the hammer back again. Then you can safely take the safety off, and then you can obviously fire the gun. As it is. So. Bad. So you can pick these up for about yeah about thirty quid in the heavy version. Um, I did have a magazine around somewhere that showed you what sort of uh, oh I actually I have the uh, I have the actual uh, I have the actual box here actually when I actually uh, did get it. Right, well, this is the. Uh, <coughs> right, well, this is the uh, tactical. It's called a tactical hip holster. Um, that's what the. Uh, well, that's what that's what this is. Um, so, that's what the. Uh, 
that's what the hip hip holster is like. Um, it can handle up to three magazines and a flashlight, apparently. Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't realize. Maybe, oh, maybe it's got more pockets on the side then, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've only just found this out myself. There's actually another pocket. There's a pocket here. A little one. A tiny little one. God, it's so tiny I didn't even realise it was there. Uh, you've got this pocket. You've got the main pocket here. You can get sort of three fingers down. And uh, and the one, the other pocket for me, another magazine. So, yeah. Well, that would be uh, comfortable, actually. <coughs> Anyway, um, yeah, it's universal with most airsoft guns, um, and well, as you can see, you can you can put really what you like in them. Uh, goes on the side of your belt. Goes, you know, it's got all the bits and pieces. I've got the zoom on this. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, packaging that it came in. Um, it's the heavyweight series, spring operated airsoft, uh, and it's by Cybergun.com. Uh, mag capacity is 12 BBs, velocity 90 meters a second, power range 30 meters, and it's 740 grams. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's like a chrome head, what's in here, this is basically what the box, this is the box that it comes in, and it shows you all the bits and pieces of, some of these actually made me laugh at what you're not, what you're not supposed to do, but it's, uh, what they call common practice, you know, it's things that you just would never do. You'd stare, like stare down the barrel of a gun, even if it's uh, even if it's not got any BBs or any uh, magazine in it whatsoever. You should still never stare down it, because there would just be one day, which I found out with my girlfriend, that I was messing about and I didn't have the safety on, and twice I've nearly shot her in the face by accident because I've been messing around. Because normally my brain thinks I always put the safety on, so that means the time I don't check. Um, that means all oh, the safety's on, and of course I fire, you know, just messing about, and I end up nearly missing her by a few millimetres. So anyway, that's, that's about your lot. That's the uh, Colt 45 BB gun um, review. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I can do a little bit of a power test as well, just to show you that it, it means business. Because <laughs> it's, uh, I've been messing around with the spring inside. If you look at this, it sort of takes apart. I watched a guy take a 1911 um, Colt 45 apart, the old war style one, and literally this gun comes apart, nearly identical to the way a real, the actual real, um, the real one does. This is metal, the casing, and then there's a piece in here. If I can get it out. Get this out. Because I've been messing about with it, so it should just go down like that. And then that pops up. Then you just take this part out, which is also metal. And then you've got a spring that's in there, just inside. I bent the bloody thing, I bent the spring. I was just messing about with it. As I say, I'm only just showing you what this, uh, what's this gun. Because so I haven't seen another one actually on it. I haven't seen a BB gun that looks like this. I've seen all these uh, BB guns that are like all see-through. Uh, maybe that's just the way American BB guns are, I'm not sure. But I mean, this thing's proper um, heavy duty. So there you go, that's it. It's, a, it's the uh, heavyweight Cole 45 